Hello, this is Brett Eckert, the Director of Evangelization and Catechesis of the Cathedral of Our Lady of Perpetual Help. If you're receiving this today, you've been in contact with someone from our cathedral parish uh, in regards to the ambassador program for the Christian Life and Witness course that will be coming up here at the cathedral and many other locations in the Rapid City area coming up in April. Today I wanted to take a little bit of an opportunity to explain to you what the Christian Life and Witness course was and is, then also looking at the ambassador program specifically to the cathedral. We want to thank you for your time. Many of you have been able to already make some of our meetings to hear about this great opportunity to help bring souls to Christ. A great opportunity to teach our parishioners how to truly see the opportunities that God puts in their lives to evangelize to those who are far away from him. So with that, I'm going to shrink my screen down to a smaller size, and we are going to go ahead and look at the Christian Life and Witness follow-up meeting that took place last night, March 15th. So looking at the Christian Life and Witness course, what we're going to look at is we're going to first off look at what the Christian Life and Witness course, when it runs, how long it is, and all the logistics of the actual event. So it starts on the week of April 11th, and then what happens is you choose a date of the week and a specific time that works for you of the many different options that they have provided. You end up saying, I would like to go to the Monday five or uh, 6.30 p.m. session. And what you do is you go to three consecutive weeks of that meeting at that location. You then in turn do three weeks, three sessions, two hours long each. So over a course of the entire uh, time frame of three weeks, we're asking for six hours of time to help to learn to be better evangelists. So now we'll look at what is taught at actually the Christian Life and Witness course. Week one all focuses on the effective Christian life, that we must have an effective an actual relationship with Jesus Christ, and that we are living out his call in our lives to be able to be evangelists. We have to be able to share what we have. If we do not have an active, working, effective relationship with Christ, we really cannot ask someone else to have an active, effective life with Christ. We cannot share what we don't have. And that the best way to evangelize is going to be through living an authentic life for Jesus Christ. Week two talks about practical ways to share our faith, such as witnessing to others and how we witness with our lives, praying for opportunities, keeping things simple, stressing God's love to the person who's there, and presenting them with the person of Jesus Christ. It also then gives us basic witnessing methods, such as the three-story method, where it goes through the my friends, my, and my God's stories, and how all three of these stories connect and how Christ has an impact on my life and how he could have an impact on somebody else's life as well. It gives you an opportunity to create your outline for your own faith story, to be able to share your faith in three to five minutes with anybody that you meet and ask to hear your story of how Christ has made an influence in your life. They also give good concrete examples of how to make things such as the Bridge to Life illustration that gives a very easy way for people to understand the true gospel message that we are separated from Christ by sin and that the only way in order to come to Christ is by his mercy and grace on the cross. Week three is all dealing with follow-up. As people come and decide to have a relationship with Christ, how do we best help them with this walk? And it really fundamentally focuses on three things. Number one, feeding. That we need to be able to have things that are going to help a new believer or people who have fallen away from the faith to continue to grow in their relationship with Christ and eventually grow in their relationship with the church. Secondly, protecting. To get them integrated into small groups and large groups within the parish community to help give them true, authentic, loving relationships within the church's walls. This only helps to keep people connected to the group and have a sense of belonging. And finally, three is training. Looking at how can we make and help these new individuals coming into faith know the love of God and give them opportunities to help grow themselves. So we would say, why the Christian Life and Witness course? Number one, it allows us to look at where we are as a church. Are we actively seeking the lost and offering them an encounter with Christ, both individually and as a church? It gives us simple ways to share our faith that are very concrete and easy to use. And it also gives us the ability to equip ourselves for realistic ways to fulfill the Great Commission, to go therefore and make disciples of all nations.
The Cathedral's Ambassador Program, which is primarily why you have received this, we wanted you to know what the Christian Life and Witness course was about. Now we want to ask you if you would be willing to be an ambassador. An ambassador are individuals within the parish who are active, who are engaging, and very excitable people to be around. They're contagious. That's why you're getting this. What we're asking those types of individuals is to sign up to be an ambassador. An ambassador, what their role truly is, is to go to the Christian Life and Witness course and bring people with them. We're asking an ambassador to choose five to six fellow parishioners to come to the Christian Life and Witness course with them. One, we ask that they try to choose the same time and location. And finally, we ask for no double dipping, where if I realize that Jim is going with John, I don't say that, well, Jim's going, he counts as mine. We want each group to be six unique individuals, unique people for a specific group. What we're trying to do is to help equip our parishioners on being able to share the gospel message, to feel confident in their ability to share their story, to share how God has influenced their lives and how he has made a change in them. Because that is the number one and greatest witness that we can give to God, to Jesus Christ in the person of him, is by sharing how he has affected us. You can see there are many dates and locations for the Christian Life and Witness course, which makes it very easy to help get as many people there as humanly possible. Uh, the more opportunities that are there, the easier it is to make a time that works. So moving forward, you've heard now what the Christian Life and Witness course is. You understand what the Ambassador Program is hoping to try to do, which is trying to get as much engagement from our parish to get as many people trained and helping them feel comfortable in sharing the good news of Jesus Christ with everybody they know, their neighbors, their friends, their nieces, their nephews, their spouse, whoever it may be. We are just hoping that this really pushes us beyond our normal comfort zone with being willing to share the gospel message, to bring people into an opportunity to encounter the love of Christ. So moving forward, what you can expect is we want you to take a little bit of time to discern, see if this is something that you're willing to sign on to to bring other people, to teach other people, to help them know how to engage Christ. Finally, what will happen is you can expect an email from us within the week inviting you to sign up as an ambassador. After ambassadors have signed up, they have about three weeks to find five to six individuals who will join them on the Christian Life and Witness course. As we said, the number one goal is to help equip our church in evangelization to be able to share the gospel message to as many people as they can. Because why? Because Christ is worth it. People's souls are worth it. And God loves them. And we must find ways to reach out to help them encounter the love of Christ. With that, thank you for your time, and God bless.